Number 35, letter A. Calculate the number of cells in a hummingbird. Assuming the mass of an average cell is 10 times the mass of a bacterium. Okay, so let's work with letter A first. All right, so we have to calculate. So what, we're, what we want to know is the number of cells in a hummingbird. Okay, and they say uh, that we want to assume that the mass of an average cell uh, is 10 times the mass of a bacterium. So I need to know the average mass of a bacterium. If you look back in the text, it should give that value to you. Uh, the mass, the average mass of a bacterium is about 10 raised to the uh, negative 15 kilograms. Okay, so that's the mass of a bacterium. So now it tells us, though, that the mass of um, one of the cells, right, in the hummingbird is going to be 10 times this mass. So what we can do now is we can take the 10 raised to the negative 15 kilograms and multiply that, which is, by the way, the kilogram, right? That's the mass of a bacterium. And multiply that by 10. And that'll now give us, so be, this would be 10 raised to the negative 14. And this would be the weight in kilograms per one cell in a hummingbird. Okay, now what we need to do is we need to now find, uh, by using this, by using uh, this ratio, we now need to find the number of cells in a hummingbird. Well, but we now need to also know, right, in order to answer this, we also need to know um, the average mass of a hummingbird. So let me draw that in up here. So the average mass of a hummingbird is gonna be about 0 0.004 kilograms. Okay, and that you can look up on Google. Um, okay, so now, if I know the average mass of a hummingbird, and I also know the uh, mass of a single cell, then I can find now the total number of cells. All right, so first thing I, I'm gonna wanna do is kind of flip this fraction. Um, reason being, I'll write it here on the left, one cell hydrogen, uh, excuse me, one cell, the H represents hummingbird. So one cell of the hummingbird weighs 10 raised to the negative 14 kilograms. Now notice, if I then multiply this by the total mass of the hummingbird itself, 004 kilograms, the kilograms will cancel. And this will now tell me the number of cells that are in the hummingbird. So that's the ending unit, right? Oop. Number of cells in a hummingbird. And all I now need to do is take out my calculator, 0.004, and divide it by 10 raised to the negative 14. So this works out to approximately four times 10 raised to the 11 cells. Okay, wonderful. So that's that takes care of part A. Now for part uh, B. It says making the same assumption, how many cells are there in a human? Okay, well, making the same assumption that the average mass of a cell in a human is 10 times the mass of a bacterium. So what that means now for part B is I can write that 10 raised to the negative 14 kilograms is equivalent to one cell in a human. Okay, I also need to know the average mass of a human. So let's just assume that the average mass of a human is 75 uh, kilograms. All right. So now what I can do is I can do the same thing I did before. I would essentially have to flip this ratio. Why? Because I need the cells. I want to calculate the number of cells, so I need them in the numerator. So one cell of a human weighs 10 raised to the negative 14 kilograms. Now if I take that and then multiply it by the average mass of a human, I can then find essentially the average number of cells because notice the kilograms cancel, leaving me with cells. Okay, so that's gonna be the unit here, cells in a human. And now all I need to do is the math. All right, so 75 divided by 10 raised to the negative 14. Okay, and this comes out to a tremendously large number. Works out to be about uh, 7.5 times 10 raised to the 15. So that would be the approximate number of cells uh, in a human. 
All right, guys, hope this video helped. If it did, please do remember to subscribe. And until next time.